<laughs> Amazing. Hi everyone, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Emma Samson Hill. Thank you very much for joining me today. I can't believe I just did that that fast. Wow. Thanks for joining me today. I'm talking real fast because I'm hungry and this is gonna go cold. I've got a little bit of blue makeup on. Let's ignore that. I was just, you know, feeling my fantasy, doing a little bit of playing around with makeup. But today, we're gonna be eating. We're gonna be eating this food. Okay, I need to stop singing at every opportunity. When I did my last seafood boil mukbang a few months ago, since then, everyone was asking for the recipe, this, that, and the other. You all want to know how I made it. So, it's your lucky day. Today, I uploaded two videos. <laughs> and if you haven't watched the recipe for this, right after this, go and watch it so I tell you exactly how I made this food today. And yeah, today we're gonna eat it. Okay, I'm just gonna talk right in because I'm hungry. Mm. Oh no! I left the napkin. Mm. I wanna talk about some like funny childhood stories. Last time we talked about tragic boy stories, today we're going to talk about funny childhood stories. If you don't like lip smacking and chewing and people eating, then this ain't the video for you, darling. If you don't like seafood, you're going to be like, oh my god, this is disgusting, what the fuck? Turn it off, love. Mm. 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 Watch me finish this whole thing before I even say a word. Today, we're talking about some funny childhood stories. And whilst I'm gonna eat this. Yeah, let's start off with this story. So, I had a theme for when I was younger. I was very unlucky. I would always get caught doing some crazy shit that I should not have been doing. So all my friends used to live, they used to get the bus home, right? Every Friday night, I feel like every one of my UK people can re um, understand, resonate with this. On a Friday night, we used to hang out at the park. No, I was not one of them people that used to drink Frosty Jacks on the park. Don't get me confused with them, no. We just used to chill, hang out around the co-op, hang out on the park, you know, just kid stuff. So I was like 14 probably. So all my friends used to get the bus home. Their parents let them get the bus home at 10 o'clock, maybe even 11 o'clock sometimes, right? My mum, on the other hand, I lived in the town that we all used to hang out in. My mum was like, you need to be home by eight o'clock. <clears throat> eight o'clock, like all my friends could stay out later than me. My mum was just very strict. Like it wasn't in a bad way, but she was just strict. She was like, you need to be home by this time or you're grounded. Like she would text me at like 7.50, like, are you on your way home? And I'd be like, no, I'm still at the park. She'd be like, well, you better run. She was that kind of girl, you know, she was cute, see? She was just crazy. Um, <laughs> she'd be like, every minute you're late home is a day that you're grounded, this, that, and the other, like. <laughs> so obviously I was jealous that all my friends got to go home late and I had to come home hella early. And my mum would be like, get home now, you need to be home now. It was crazy. One day, my parents were going out on a night out and me and my brother were told like, look, you have to stay at home. I'd been out early in the evening with my friends. Sorry, there's something in my teeth. And my mum was like, cool, you need to be home by seven because me and your dad are going out and I want to make sure that you're home, X, Y, Z. Cool. Her and my dad have gone out, whatever. But little did she know, there was a boy that I wanted, he was out. This boy that I liked was out that night. In my head, I'm thinking, there is no fucking chance in hell that I'm not going out tonight. Even though literally what we did was just chill out on the park. And the boy that I liked was like texting me and whatever, and he was saying he was gonna be out and stuff and the other. I was like, there's no way I'm not going out. And, and you know, mm, grabbing my chances by the balls and you know, maybe, maybe getting to know this boy that I liked. It's actually funny because the boy who this story is about, he's actually gay, like come out as gay now. So we can laugh about this now, me and him. Cool, I got home, my parents went out. I'm thinking, <laughs> babe, I'm about to sneak the fuck out. I waited a bit, waited like half an hour and I thought, the coast is clear, it's gonna be fine. So I head out. I mean, my brother plays computer games, so he was headset on, he didn't give a fuck. I head out, I'm like going to meet my friends. I'm like, <laughs> sneaking out, whatever, cool. Go and meet the boy, cause he didn't live far from me. Go and meet the boy that I'm gonna, like, that I fancied. You know, we go out on the park. Cool, on there for a bit, and then we were gonna go to the shop. So going to the shop to get some drink or snack or whatever it was. Walk into the shop, <laughs> me and him walking around the corner. 
me thinking, yep, my life is great, everything's great. When I tell you, I turn the corner going up the main street where I live. Tell me where my mum and dad are there. Scary. My mum and dad were literally leaving the pub they were at to get in a taxi. So I thought I was safe because they were going into town. Like they were going to a different town from where we live. So I thought, I'm not gonna see them, it's gonna be fine. Uh, they'd gone for a drink beforehand and then they were getting in the taxi to go to town. So I turn the corner and I see them and my face is like, and my mum just starts shouting. She's like, what are you doing? You're supposed to be at home this time. I'm shouting, my dad's just like, like my mum's going psycho. She's getting in the taxi, she's like, you need to go home right now. And when I get home, I'm gonna call the landline and you better pick up in 10 minutes. <laughs> right in front of the boy that I fancied. Right in front of the boy that I fancied. And she was shouting at me. <sighs> my dad was like, look, um, you just need to go home. Like my dad was being calm about it because I was literally like, my dad was like, look, um, you need to go home. We're gonna call you this, that and the other. It was bad and then I got grounded. <laughs> I got grounded all for going to meet a boy. What the hell? Who does that? That is just my tragic look, but I have another story just like this. My other story is, I, it's a very similar kind of story. <laughs> and you couldn't make this up, man. You couldn't actually make this up because this is just my look. So, another story. Me and my two friends, we were going to a party. Of course, we were like 15, 16. We weren't supposed to be going to parties. We weren't allowed to go to parties. You know like when you used to go and get your brother to get you a five pound bottle of Glens, you know the little one? It was that kind of vibe, like we used to get anyone we could to get us a five pound bottle of Glens, like the small one. <sighs> How times have changed. I told my mum I'm going to stay at my friend's house, I'm going to stay at Daisy's house, um, you know, because my friend lived in a different town, you know, like to me. My mum's like, okay, yeah, cool, because like this is my best friend, she wasn't going to question it. Uh, cool. She's like, yep, yeah, you're going to stay at Daisy's, whatever. Me and our, my other friend Ellie and Daisy were all staying at Daisy's, but were actually going to a party and staying at Daisy's afterwards. Cause Daisy's mum was cool. Daisy's mum let us do this kind of stuff, but my mum, no, no. My mum was like, no way. <laughs> so like, obviously Daisy's mum's like, oh yeah, you're, you're, are you all, all allowed to go? Like, have you asked your parents? And we're like, yeah. <laughs> I'm not allowed to be there. My mum thinks I'm snuggled up in bed by nine o'clock, but no. We actually go to this party and it was with a lot, with people that were older than us. So we go to this party, this is like, I'm not even kidding, this is like a party off of Skins, like, this girl's parents were on holiday and she had a party, that is just the worst, like, you know when they shouldn't be having parties, because people just wreck the gaff, like, people were being sick on the stairs, people were like, vandalising shit, it was actually really bad, it was bad, but I feel like every British teenager has been to a party like that. We go to the party, again, I wanted to go to the party, because guess what? There was a boy that I fancied that was going to be there. A boy that I was talking to that was going to be there. I've been a thought from early, babe. These fucking shrimp are it. Go to the party. Cool. <laughs> been at the party for a while. Like, quite a while now. Getting drunk. Talking. Whatever. So, I see the boy that I like. And he takes me outside onto the driveway. Now, this girl's driveway is on the main road. If you're from Preston... This driveway was like, you know how Machine Mart is near Deepdale? Like that, may, like it's a big main road and like a big intersection. So in my head, I'm like, whatever, cool, cool, whatever. My parents were out in town that night. So I'm thinking, that, there's no way they're gonna know. They think I'm sleeping at Daisy's, whatever, cool. But I, little did I know, my parents were out in town. So I'm on the driveway with this guy. We're talking to each other, you know, chatty, chatty, patty in. Then all of a sudden, this taxi drives past. This taxi drives past, and who is in the taxi? My parents are in the taxi. My parents are in the taxi, and they've just seen me on a driveway on the main road with a boy at fucking two in the morning, whatever it was. Maybe not, maybe it was just like one in the morning, I don't know. Either way, I'd fucked it, mate. So obviously, like, my mum, I, I just remember seeing their, you know, he's like slow motion. You see their faces just ride past. That was me. I was like, I couldn't believe it. I thought, my look. This is only my look. My dad starts calling me, right? Calling, calling. <laughs> my mom texts me. She's like, What the fuck are you doing? Stood on the on the on the side of the street, 
at this time in the morning. I thought you were at Daisy, blah, blah, blah. You've got serious repercussions coming your way. Like, you know, like, parents kick off at you. I start, I was shitting a brick. Because as you can tell, my mum's a little bit scary. I was shitting it. And my friends, Daisy and Ellie, I was like, girls, like, I don't know what to do. They're like, don't worry, don't worry. Turn your phone off. Turn your phone off. Don't answer any of the calls, this, that, and the other. And I was like, okay, fine, cool, whatever. Like, <laughs> Then my dad starts texting me. And he's like, Emma, I just need to know that you're safe. <coughs> Please pick up the phone. And that got me. That was a point that I had to be like, okay, I have to talk to them. So I picked up the phone, I'm chatting to them, and my dad's like, what the fuck are you doing? And I was just like, I was in a party, we're going, we're back at, we're going back to Daisy's now, please. And my dad was like, we're going to talk about this tomorrow, and yeah. I never really remember the repercussions, I just remember the stories and they're fucking funny. Like, how does that happen? How does that happen? How are you just stood, how, no, think about it. I was inside that whole night. The one time I come outside, my parents drive past in a taxi. God was telling me, look, you're gonna pay for lying. You're gonna pay for all this lying that you've been doing, girl. All that, you know what it is? It's not even my fault, I think, because it's boys that seem to get me in these situations. So I'm just gonna blame them. Yeah, that seems like a good, I think like a good kind of uh, excuse. Honestly, if you go to Aldi and get the red Argentinian prawns, they're nice. So, I might have time for one more story because my camera battery is flashing. Of course it is, it's me. So, let's think of one more story. I don't know if I've told this story, but I'm gonna tell it again. So, I was at another party. Of course I was. Party girl from early. I think it was like a leavers party. We're all leaving school and this girl had a party and we all went. So, at the party, cool. Now, all of a sudden, I don't know how we even got here, but I had fallen out with my two best friends. So there was my, one of my guy best friends was there and he was like consoling me. He was like hugging me. He was like, it's okay that like, I was pure crying because I've fallen out with my two best friends. I'm like, this is quite a short story, so don't worry. I'm like on his shoulder, like crying, talking to my body. Like, <laughs> Wait a you know how it be when you're 16. Crying, crying, crying on his shoulder. I get up and I'm like, <laughs> like look at him and he just bursts out laughing. And he just looks at me like, and I was like, what, what's up man? Tell me why he picks, he picks something off of my cheek. It was my eyelash. My eyelash, my false eyelash was on my cheek. Cause I've been crying so much, it had just fallen off and it was on my actual cheek. And let me tell you, that was a very embarrassing moment. I'm very glad that it was one of my friends because we were pissing ourselves laughing at it. But <laughs> that was anyone else, that would have been horrendously embarrassing. I just can't believe he just, boink, you know, like Mwah! picked it right off my cheek. I can't believe that shit. Only this shit happens to me. I'm very wary of the time because it's flashing. I know this was short and sweet, but I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know you guys like these mukbangs, so I'll keep doing them if you like them. I'll think of some more funny stories. Rack my brain for them. I tried to forget them a very long time ago. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below. And if you haven't already watched the video of how I make this seafood boil, go and watch that right now. I'm gonna finish this. Mm, scrumptious. I'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye guys. <laughs>